So I know I promised you guys a series on this channel about exploits that I've done of people parking on the sidewalk outside of various businesses around town here in Tucson. Well, this will be the first of many vehicles that I already found and am sure I will keep finding parked on the sidewalk right out in front of Ponderosa Cactus, Inc., located at 1870 West Wetmore Road in Tucson. I was on my way to Circle K up the street from here today to get a drink, and as you can see in this video here, I was rolling up to the business, and I saw this Jeep parked right out front. And you all know me, when I see opportunities like this, I can't let it go. As drivers in this city, or any other city for that matter, these people are supposed to uphold the standards and rules of the road. I'm not a driver, but I've taken driver's ed and failed many times, and I know enough of the law to know that this is illegal. Fucking ignorant motherfuckers! It's illegal to park on any sidewalk. Plus, it's downright ignorance on the driver's part. N5A9YG! And the business owner's part for not paying attention and keeping their people and their customers from parking on the sidewalk. It's rude. I yelled out the license plate number in the video, definitely loud enough for someone to hear, and I pressed on to the store. I spent at least 10 minutes in there, enough time for whoever heard me to come out of the business and move their car. I was giving them an opportunity, a chance. Because if this car was still parked on the sidewalk when I got done in the store and was on my way back to my camp, I was going to take a picture of the license plate and make good on my promise to them that I made a long time ago, last time someone was parked on the sidewalk out in front of their business. I remember it quite well. I was on my way to the store a few months ago, past that very same property, because it just so happens to be near my little private homeless camp I made down a dark alley somewhere in the area. And there was a utility truck parked across the sidewalk. I'm talking front tires on one side of the sidewalk and rear tires on the other, completely blocking it. And I, and I, I get whoever it was was probably just grabbing something inside the business or whatever and locking it up. And as I was approaching, I was pissed off. There was plenty of room for him to park on either side of the sidewalk. And he had to park across the damn thing, completely blocking it. So I shouted out, Really? Seriously? You think you own the whole fucking city? You gotta park across the damn sidewalk? I was pissed off, what can I say? And the motherfucker, like many people have done, was actually standing there yelling back at me, trying to justify parking across the sidewalk like he was. I didn't want to hear it, so I yelled out, You are illegally parked on the fucking sidewalk! Get out of there! And the jackass gets in his truck, slams the door, and peels out, sending up rocks and dirt everywhere. He missed me, of course, and I know hitting me with all the rocks on the dirt was his intention, but he missed. Right after it happened, I went to my camp, pulled out my phone, and called the business number for Ponderosa Cactus, Inc., and I gave... And I, and I told them about the situation. I gave them a definite warning that if it kept happening, if people kept on parking on the sidewalk, I was going to start taking pictures of vehicles' license plates and sending them to the proper authorities. And I also told them that I was going to take those pictures and their business name and blast them all over my YouTube reality channel. And before I told them to fuck off, I ended the call. I said... I don't think you or your business wants that kind of attention or embarrassment. I just had an altercation with two bitches right out in front of that business that I just took a picture of that Jeep of right now. As soon as I took the picture of the license plate of the Jeep, I took down the number on the sign on the business name and I called the number and I sat out there for a second and I repeated the license plate number twice. And the woman said, I'm sorry, as you just heard. And as soon as I started saying that I took a picture and was going to send it into the proper authorities and blast their business name all over YouTube, this other bitch comes out of the business up to the fucking gate and starts yelling at me. She's like, you get out of here. 
And then I was yelling at the bitch who was parked on the fucking sidewalk over there, telling her that she's illegally parked on the sidewalk. And she's like, you got by, didn't you? I was like, I don't give a fuck. You're parked on the sidewalk illegally. I don't give a damn. I'm exploiting these motherfuckers and everybody else who parks on the sidewalk. They can kiss my ass. <laughs> the woman, and you know what? The woman behind the fence coming up to me telling me to get out of there apparently is either a manager or a business owner or whatever she is. She says, when I told her that I was going to blast everything on, on, on my YouTube reality channel, she's like, oh, you can go ahead. I wish I had left my damn camera glasses on recording this yelling match between myself and these two women. The vehicle owner was standing by her car screaming at me, You got by, didn't you? I told her, I don't give a fuck. You were illegally parked on the sidewalk, you fucking ignorant bitch. I was pissed off. I'm sorry. You know, I do that kind of thing when people are parked on the sidewalk. And then I yelled out, Send your driver's license back to the Cracker Jack box. And then the business owner or manager or whatever came walking up, up to the fence right where I was at the end of the property, a pretty good distance from the entrance where the lady was standing near her car. And this bitch was actually treating me like a fucking vagrant or something, like I was doing something wrong by calling someone out for ignorantly parking their fucking vehicle on the sidewalk. I flipped the bitch off and said, fuck you. She's illegally parked on the sidewalk outside your business, and you're over here telling me to get out of here? Wow. Needless to say, when I turned my chair around and started going back to my camp, the bitch that was illegally parked on the sidewalk didn't even bother to move her vehicle. She just went back inside the business. And then that bitch that was telling me to get out of there was mumbling some kind of bullshit under her breath in Spanish. You know what? I may be homeless now, but that doesn't mean that I don't still have the same rights as everybody else in this world. I have the right to ride my power chair on a public sidewalk peacefully without having to deviate my path or my course just to go around some bitch's car who shouldn't have been parked there to begin with. These idiots know the law. I'll tell you what, though. As soon as I pointed to my sunglasses and shouted to the business owner, Camera glasses, bitch! She turned and walked, started walking away. They weren't on, unfortunately. I wish they had been. I would have got a lot of cool stuff. It would have been funny watching that bitch at the car yelling out, You got by, didn't you? Trying to justify parking on the sidewalk. <laughs> but she got the point and shut her mouth, tucked her little tail between her legs, and shuffled back inside. It was hilarious. If the cops are looking to fill their ticket quotas, Wetmore and Romero Road is a perfect smorgasbord People are saying the parking situation in front of this business and Windy City Equipment next door has been like this for a long time. People don't give a fuck, and neither does the business itself. I even went on their website and sent them a message about the whole thing. We'll see what it, if, if, it, if it gets corrected. If it doesn't, you can bet we'll be right back here doing this all over again and with another vehicle license plate. Maybe I'll remember to leave the damn camera glasses on this time. I mean, look at this Google Maps picture of the location. Look how huge the property is. They have room to make a halfway decent property parking lot inside their fence on their property. But instead, they decide to fill their entire inside of their property with dead cacti. You can clearly see that the tops of these cacti are falling off. They're dry and yellow and brittly probably if you touch the damn things they'll probably fall off they try to correct that by putting styrofoam cups on top of the arms but it's not working and look at either side of the sidewalk there's clearly plenty of room to park on the dirt on either side of the sidewalk like these cars in this picture are parked but some people choose to park on the sidewalk i don't know when this google maps picture was taken of the front of the property but it doesn't look like that anymore but these cars are parked nicely on either side of the sidewalk, not on the sidewalk. And this business doesn't give a fuck, because the lady that came out was just standing there yelling at me to get out of there, like I was a bum or a vagrant doing something wrong, there to cause trouble. Nice, huh? Using this screen here as a reference, since I don't have an audio recording of the call I made, I left the following message on the company's voicemail. 
I said, I've also written an email about this to your corporate offices. Since nobody wanted to listen to me earlier during business hours, I'm going to leave this message here after you're closed. 1. City Code Violation Tucson City Code explicitly states that parking on the sidewalk is prohibited. 2. Pedesti pedestrian Access the main reason for this rule is to ensure clear and unimpeded pedestrian access on sidewalks. I don't care if I was able to get by the customer's car. No part of their vehicle should have been parked on the sidewalk. I had to ride in the dirt to avoid their vehicle because I didn't want to be responsible for scratching it up trying to get by in, in my power chair. I can't even remember how many times I've had to pull nails and screws out of my tires and replace the tubes because I always have to ride on the dirt around people's vehicles because people don't want to follow the law. They don't care anymore. 3. Potential for citations. If you park on the sidewalk, you are likely to receive a parking ticket. And whoever that lady was standing behind the fence yelling at me, telling me to get out of there like I was doing something wrong, ain't going to cut it either. I was on a public sidewalk taking videos and pictures of someone parked on the sidewalk outside your property. I warned you guys about this. I am perfectly within my rights to blast these pictures and video I took today all over YouTube since everything was taken from a public sidewalk. If you guys want to continue embarrassing yourselves, go for it. But just know that every time I see a vehicle parked on the sidewalk outside your property, pictures and videos will be taken and posted. If you aren't going to do anything about it, the law and the embarrassment should make you. And your customers will start getting parking tickets. And if that's what it's going to take, so be it. Have a nice day. Please follow us on Facebook and Twitter.